Good morning, class three. Today we will do the new chapter in math, chapter nine, money. Okay, children. So, children, money is the currency of a country, isn't it? Standard unit of Indian currency is rupees. Here I will show you some notes. Okay, rupees note. Now look, look here. This is twenty rupees note. Okay, this is five hundred rupees note. And this is two hundred rupees note, and here this is ten rupees note, and this is fifty rupees note. Understood? So children, smallest unit is peso. Okay, the smallest unit is peso. So here this is a coin. I am going to show you. This is a coin. I hope you have seen the coin, isn't it? One rupee coin, five rupees. Yes. So children, one rupee, one rupee equal to hundred pesos. Okay, children. So short form of rupee. You can write this in short form. R E. Okay. So next, short form of rupees. We can write as R S. Okay, children. So short form of peso. You can write P. Is that clear? So children. Here. Now, one rupee equal to hundred pesos. Correct. So children, rupee. Rupees means money. Okay. So money, the Indian currency is divided into two forms. Okay. One is in note, and one is in coin. Okay. So note. You know it is a paper money. Is that clear? So coin, coin is made of metal. Yes. So children, you have seen ten rupees note, twenty rupees note, isn't it? Fifty rupees note, hundred rupees note, two hundred rupees note, five hundred rupees note, and two thousand rupees note. Yes. Okay. So I hope you have seen the coin also. One rupee coin, two rupee. Okay. Five rupees. Ten rupees, yes. Okay. So children, for our daily life, we need money. Yes. For our daily life, we need money. Suppose you go to market. Okay. You want to buy something. Understood. Suppose you go to market. You want to buy something. So children, what you want? You want the money, isn't it? Without money, how can you buy the things? Yes. Okay. So money is. Needed in our daily life. Okay, so children, now, now I will show you how to convert rupee into convert convert rupees into. convert this suppose this is rupees 6 is there okay this is 6 rupees as you know 1 rupee 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise okay so similarly 6 rupees equal to 6 into 100 okay so what will be the answer? 6 into 100 is 600 pesos. Understood? Similarly. Now next we will do 23 rupees 95 pesos. So children look here carefully. Here is rupees also and there is pesos also. So you have to change 
increase into percent. Yes? So how you will do? As it is, you know, 1 rupee equal to 100 pesos. Correct? So, here how many rupees here? 23. So, 23 rupees equal to 23 into 100. Correct? So, what will be? 23 100. Got it? So, here is passive. Understood? So, this is, we have convert this into passive. Okay? So, you have to add this. You have to add plus 95 passive. Got it? So, what will be the answer? 95 passive. Okay? This will be the answer. Understood? So, next, I will tell you, I will show you now. Suppose, if there is no rupees and paise is written, just only the number is written. Suppose, 53.25. So, how do you know that? Which one is rupees and which one is paise? So, look at that. So, the point before the number, okay? The point before the number, this will be rupees. Okay, so the point after the number, this will be passive. So, how will this 53 rupees 25 passive? Now, you know how to convert this 1 rupees equal to 100 passive. So, here is 53 rupees, isn't it? So, here. 53 into 100. So, it will become 53 100 pesos. So, here again 25 pesos is there. So, we have to add 53 plus 53 100 plus 25 pesos. So, what will be the answer? 5, 3, 2, 5 pesos. Got it, children? Okay. Rupees three six point five zero. Again, rupees five zero point zero zero. You have to see the number. You have to put the number before the point together, after the point together. Okay, so you know that uh, before the point is rupees and after the point is peso. Okay, children. So let us add. So zero plus zero, zero. Five plus zero, five. Now put point here. Six plus zero, six. Five plus three, eight. Here rupees. Understood? So this will become rupees. 86.50 percent. Okay? You know, before the decimal, sorry, before the point, there is rupees and after the point, there is percent. Understood, children? Clear? Now, next, see the next. Rupees 28.25 rupees 21.75 How will you add? 10 plus 10, 0. And 1, carry over. Okay? 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Again, 0. 1 carry over here. Here is the point. Okay? 8 plus 1 is 9. And 9 plus 1 carry over 1 is 10. 0. Again, carry over 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 1 is 5. Okay? So, we will write as Rupees fifty point zero zero. Got it? So, similarly, this is the addition. Now, similarly, you have to do the subtraction. Same form, same tag, you have to, same way, you have to do the subtraction also. I hope you know the subtraction how to do, isn't it? So, children, this is the way you have
you have to do this chapter money okay i hope you have understood this chapter so please children practice at home do more and more work in math okay until and unless you will not practice math you will not do properly understood children so children please kindly 